So hello to everyone out there. Myself, Dr. Malay Trivedi, and I welcome you all to Sail to India's Dental Academy. So friends, today the topic is a little different. It's a AIMS exam pattern. Why have I keep this topic? Because out of hundred, ninety-eight students are telling me, sir, I'm not AIMS. I say, they're not going with no hope of getting selected. See, I, we know that uh, there are very limited seats in the AIMS and AIMS exam is ranked the toughest exam, but it is not like that. Along with hard work, we have to do this smart work in the AIMS exam. As there were, the pattern of this exam is completely different than the other exam. Okay, so it is almost like your NBD. So as when we train for that NBD exams, uh, we, they have almost followed the similar pattern. So we see in detail. What all the patterns are there, and then how you have to approach for your AIMS exam pattern. So, friends, let's get started for the same. So, first is the exam details. I we know it's an online exam, three years exam. The exam is on the 17th November, and nowadays in AIMS we have 200 questions for three hours. In our time, previously there will be 90 questions for the 90 minutes. So, friends, we have around 50 seconds, 40 to 50 seconds for per question. So now we see the different questions they are asking, around 7 types of question patterns are there. The first is the single base type answer. Everybody know that the one question will be there, out of 4, one option you have to select. So this is the simplest thing, that is single base type answer. For correct answer you will get 1 mark, for incorrect answer you will lose around 0.33 marks. Then comes the true and false type. So dear friends here. They will give one, uh, one statement like see here in the uh, you can see the criteria for correct diagnosis of rheumatic fever. So like this four to five statement will come. You have to mark it whether it is true or false. So if you go for the correct answer you will get 0.2 marks and if you are wrong you will lose the minus 2 marks. So the second category is multiple true and false types. Third, third comes the match the following. So dear friend, there will be two columns, column C and column B. In simple, are very brainy. They will not keep the same number of options in column A and column B. In option column A, there will be always more number of the option. So you have to select the correct option, this correct statement you have to select. Like for the correct answer, you will get the 0.25 marks and for the incorrect answer, you will lose the minus 0.25 marks. So here you have to write the proper match. A should be correctly, column A uh, option should be correctly matched with the column B. The third is the match the following type. Four comes the sequential arrangement type. This category is the very bad category. Means if you go wrong in the sequence arrangement type, you lose the highest marks around minus one. Okay. So mostly many questions of the oral path they can ask for this. As you can see in the picture that uh, uh, they have arranged the tumor according to the age group. So as you know in the, uh, oral path it comes the decades, the age, the sex. So like that the, you have to arrange in proper sequence. Fine. And I always tell my students that please always attempt last the sequence arrangement type question. Okay, Because if you go also wrong in one things, the uh, minus one loss will be there of marks. Okay. Then comes the multiple completion type. So here you can see the clinical features and the options have been given. So there will be the multiple things will be there. Either the one option is correct or two options is correct or three options is correct. So you have to select the proper alternative. Okay. If you go right, you will get one mark here. If you go wrong, you will lose minus 0.25 marks. So we have seen the five categories. Now six, there is a reason assertion type. Here the two statesmen will be given which will be connected by the term because and in options we will have either the assertion is correct, reason is correct, both are correct, both are wrong or they are either independently correct or wrong will be there. So if you be the correct answer you will get one mark, if you go wrong you will lose minus 0.25. So this is the reason and assertion type. Last category is the extended matching types that is EMI or EMQ. This is the most confusing category for everybody out there. Okay, here the question will be very big. The question consists of four components. First, it will consist of some theme 
then answer option list leading questions and scenario or vignettes vignettes is the small description here if you go correct you will get one and wrong the minus one will there i'll explain how the emi questions are there so first you can see in the uh, slide the first is thin so just one word they will give you like a fatigue and the answer list will be there so in what all the things we can see this fatigue okay so then third will come the leading questions and scenario so you will have the scenario in which the patient uh, detail cases should be there and you have to select the best possible answer from the list so friend in this don't get confused it is like your case history you know in our department in oral medicine general medicine what we used to do we will have the uh, the patient will come we will have the chief complaint so that theme or focus is like the chief complaint fine so when we have the chief complaint a lot of questions comes in a lot of things comes in our mind okay then we'll have the scenario leading question in which you will go for the examination of patient your heart soft tissue intra or extra or inspection palpation percussion you go for the diagnostic test and all that so from this scenario you will get through the correct provisional diagnosis and that is your answers so my friends whenever you are attempting this question remember never ever read first the theme or the answer list always first study the scenario after scenario go for the theme and focus and then go for the proper selection of the answers so don't get confused but remember this type of question will take the maximum time now i will show you the review so as we know we have seen the seven category of question so for correct answer the highest marks the single best response will fetch you and you will lose highest marks in sequential arrangement type of question so my dear friends i always recommend it that this sequential arrangement question should be kept at last for solving reason assertion extended matching also you can keep last second and last third first you should complete the single best response from your paper then you should go for the true or false match the following multiple completion and then at last reason assertion extended matching and the sequential arrangement remember out of 200 questions no need to attempt all 200 the maximum limit for that time should be around 140 to 150 and please bank yourself at that time use your presence of mind keep cool uh, cool and calm and know that what you have to attempt and what you don't have to attempt okay so this chart please keep in your mind know where you get the highest correct mark and where you will lose the wrong options So okay friends all the best for your AIMS exam any doubt my number and my email id is in the description box you can contact me any times please go with the positive mindset don't think like that bhai hoga to hoga nahi you can crack am aims also if you have proper knowledge and please work hard don't waste time in this uh, 10 15 days as the 17 november your aims is there and next month your neat so keep on working all the best till then please take care of your health also along with study okay bye